Hey, what's up? It's Philip, and let's migrate uh, sample character for game animation sample to our third person uh, template or any other game template or game you have. So uh, let's start. The first step that we need to do is to enable the plugins in our third person uh, template. To do that, go to edit and go to plugins. And uh, we are now going to enable lots of plugins. I will give you the list in the description below so you can uh, just skip this part or if you want, you can uh, go with me. We will go with the deform, deformer graph and make sure that click yes and don't restart your Unreal Engine. We will restart it uh, later when we add all the necessary plugins so you don't need to restart it each time animation locomotion library chooser animation and motion warping pose search and motion trajectory after that just restart your engine you can close this and we now need to go to our game animation sample and over here we need to go to content blueprints and you can see this cpb sandbox character we need to migrate this character to our third person template so right click asset actions go to migrate uh, you can click ok and you are now inside the project folder so go up and find your uh, project that you want to migrate this uh, asset so go my project animation go to content and click select folder and it says that asset some asset already exists so just hit apply to all and click yes and your characters over here will be gone but don't worry it's just uh, some kind of glitch so if you go back to blueprints they will be here as usual if you go back to your third person template you can see if you go to blueprints that we have this character over here. So let's replace our standard third person uh, mannequin with this character. To do that we need to go to the world settings. If you don't see the world settings go to window, world settings and it will be shown on the right side over here. Now let's go to content, right click, blueprint class, game mode base and just add in the name of my game. You can save it. And in the world settings, on the right side, you can see, see this game mode override. Just drag and drop it here. You can see this green check mark. This means that it will be okay. Just drop it and go back to blueprints and expand this game mode. You can see default pawn class to be default pawn. We want to change that to be our CPB sandbox character. So just drag and drop it over here under the default pawn class. And if it hit play, you can see that we have our character in our third person template. And this is it. If you find this helpful, let me know in the comments below and uh, drop some likes, comments and subscribes. And uh, also you, have a, you can become a member to support this channel. It will be uh, highly appreciated. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.